Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there. Got a lot of very cool creations again to look at this week. Um, now everything I'm, I'm showing today is in RE2, or Reforged Eden 2. Um, I am avoiding uh, SVs this week. Uh, there's a bunch of them that are on, on the workshop. Very cool looking, pretty SVs. I'll try to take a look at a lot of those next week, but that challenge that most of those are for ha has not been done yet. So. I, I'm holding off one more week. It's 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 rough. It's rough. I want to look at them, but um, so that that's why they're not here. I just wanted to point that out. Um, so the very first creation today. This is the RE2 Asteria Destroyer by Cheesy Wombam, and uh, yeah, that's really cool. Um, I spawned the original Asteria Destroyer over there. Now this was built. I'm guessing about six years ago, uh, for a weird time in the game. It was after uh, the vanilla game first introduced CPU, but it was going through a lot of different renditions back then, and the numbers kept changing and things like that. So this ship was based on the numbers at the time, um, and things are, are remarkably different now, and even the, the vanilla CPU changed quite a bit after that ship was built. But now we've got a version here that's all set up for reforging the two of all things. So that that is really cool to see. I love, I love seeing this. It's uh, kind of a lot of fun seeing seeing uh, people update these and uh, you know mod them and, and things like that. So I want to take a good look at this ship here. I'm curious on its specs and things like that too. But it to me it just physically looks bigger. Um, and it's got way more gun mounts on it I think. I'm um, looking at all these potential uh, turret positions here throughout the hull and there's a lot of them. Not to mention these uh, this uh, wing extension area looks quite a bit bigger than the original. Yeah, the original was set up uh, different over here, so it was kind of skinnier, and then I had this little pop-out uh, artillery turret section here. So now it's actually got, like, thrusters there, so I, I bet you, like, this one only had a single reverse thruster here, and this one does not have a re reverse thruster there. In fact, they're up on the uh, the wing sides. So, yeah, that's, that's a big modification right there by itself. Um, that's cool. That's cool. So, yeah, let's just cruise the hull here a little bit so we've got looks like a uh, strafing thruster here and it looks like it's totally set up to add a bigger thruster in here yep it's got all the room back in there so uh, set up for upgrades so you can turn that into a drive thruster same thing going on over here for the re reverse thrust uh, looks like the author kind of put in whatever uh, could afford to add a particular CPU tier here but obviously you can pull that out and put in a, uh, a drive thruster there as well uh, we still do have a uh, like a 5x5 five five turret position on the side here for artillery, or I think that would also work with uh, dense mining drills at this point in time. Uh, we, we do it. We still have an intact drive thruster in the back here on either side, and it uh, looks like we got some radar over here. Is that a long range? That is. That is a long range radar. That's cool. And then we got the hangar section over here. Um, place for another turret up on the bottom there. And a uh, big old landing pad up on the top here. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Oh, we got some uh, we got some doors into the bridge area here, too. Oh, that's something I, I, I didn't do that, did I? Oh, look at that. No, I didn't have doors in the bridge. So, yeah, good good addition there. I um, At the time when I built that, I wasn't even thinking about that. Uh, later on, it, uh, uh, after especially doing some, um, some playthroughs on the Anvil server... Uh, like Reforge Eden 1 and stuff like that, I realized the importance of being able to get in and out of your uh, bridge or pilot seat quickly in gameplay. Um, so, yeah, nice addition there, too. That's something I should have done originally. Yeah, cool looking. Uh, yeah, but, but very cool and all the mods and things like that. Um, one thing uh, I wanted to check, too, is the hull material. Okay, so we're still here. And if I remember, this was combat steel. Okay. I don't think you could pull off combat steel, um, especially in, like, reforging one or two on this and have them, have them move yet. But uh, back in the day, you could actually uh, uh, use uh, combat steel as your base hull material. I did that on most most builds, especially if they're combat-oriented. Um, but um, over time, you just couldn't move them very good. So kind of stopped using combat steel pretty much all, you know, like, I never use it anymore. Um yeah, very, very cool, and uh, certainly a lot of upgrade potential with the thrusters and, of course, all the 
all the bazillions of weapons and turrets and things you can put on here too a lot of them so all right anyway let's get aboard here i'm gonna adjust the lighting and uh we'll i'll try to get out of god mode here too and walk the ship normally here so uh as soon as we get into the hangar here we got a lot of changes uh made here on the side walls and things i think um, there's stuff up there. I'm going to have to get back in God mode. Okay. Uh, oh, small shield parts. So eight eight small shield parts over here. That's cool. I was kind of curious about that. We got an info LCD over here. Bunch of information. Upgrades for shield. Oh, so it can do uh, four large, six medium, and eight small uh, shield parts in here. Plus it's talking about uh, cores. Um, you can upgrade to a fusion reactor. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, this thing was really gone through. Oh, speaking of that, here is a, um, I don't know, AI. I have to get out of God mode again here. Um, or get into God mode again here. So we got large shield locations uh, on both sides over here. And it looks like the same on this side. Got some storage controllers down below here. Kind of an interesting uh, access door to get in there so you can place those parts. That, that works. Uh, we'll take a look at all the storage and stuff a little bit later here. Yeah, I'll try to get out of God mode again. So then we got kind of the uh, the back part of the hangar here. Do you remember this? This was kind of where the uh, production area was. And it looks like it still is. So we got uh, a couple places over here for, um, well, we got one advanced constructor in place and a, a home for another one. Looks like we have a 320K storage bay over here. And a Pentaxa tank. A uh, bunch of uh, utility stuff over here. Looks like O2 in a med bay. Uh, ammo bay. Uh, so 96k uh, there. Oh wait, oh it's mistaken. It's 160k. 160k. And you're kind of low ball in the amount of ammo storage in there, aren't you? Now, <laughs> hold on, hold on. We we can't do that. We can't do that. There we go. Now we're now we're 160k. Very. Oh, that's cool though. That is cool. So what do we got back over here? Oh, a superior extender in here it's cool yeah seeing these uh these uh placeholder lcds being used that that is really cool too i'm glad i'm glad uh i'm glad people are finding those those useful i just think it's uh, i didn't put a lot of time and effort into build, building these things um but uh i try to keep them really simple just for their their use there so on the other side we got a bunch of utility function oh we got a, a weapon uh, locker armor locker armor repair it's like another storage controller over here uh, is this uh, ammo? Yeah, another 160k ammo. And then two more places for uh, constructors or deconstructors. A uh, bunch of uh, boxes right above there as well. And what do we got over here? We got a 320k storage bay. That's actually 640. Wow, the author's really lowballing the amount of storage on this thing. It's it's to the positive. I mean, imagine thinking all your storage is like smaller than it is and then you you open it up and you're like oh that that's cool hold on hold on hold on hold on we uh, gotta uh, uh, these these uh old school lcds they're they're fun this was um this ship was built before there was projector lcds so this i mean you had this type in a couple different sizes well like, like four different sizes but that's all you had you did not have what we have with uh projectors now so anyway yeah very cool down here Lots of uh, lots of uh, upgrades stuff going on, especially with the shields and some CPU cores and things like that. So let's go up to deck two here. If I remember correctly, I had farms off to either side, um, which look like they're not farms anymore. No, no, we've got some more parts in here. <laughs> okay, so um, what do we got over here? We got an advanced core and a quantum core location. Plus, it looks like three uh, medium shield parts. Now, there should be another uh, room just on the other side, just like that. Yeah, okay, so there's your other uh, medium shield parts uh, and more core placement locations. Then in the center over here, looks like we've got a couple of fridges and a food processor and a medical bay uh, going out to the landing pad over here. So it looks like we've got all our specialized equipment, and that should get us right out to the, uh, the landing pad. God, it looks bigger than it used to. Um, is it? Did this actually get bigger than it was? Uh, no, I think it's, I think it's the same. I think it's the same size. It's just bigger than I remember it to be. I thought it had a more dinky uh, landing pad back over there. 
So let's go this way. Um, so this got, oh, well, we got aux core rooms. Holy smokes. Yeah, okay. So we got a, a bunch of locations here for auxiliary cores. So you can certainly get in, um, yeah, certainly get those in too. So you got a lot of potential here to really raise the CPU up in this ship. So this was heading down into a hot zone, if I remember correctly. Yep, danger, extreme heat, and radiation. Um, yeah, it looks a little safer now. <laughs> There's a lot of parts in the area with uh, like, a, like a thruster and uh, like a warp drive and things like that um, before. So it was a really uh, quite the hot zone. Um, I'm not seeing much in here anymore. So we got a gravity generator down here. Oh, there's the warp drive. So it's kind of like uh, in a safer location now. And uh, yeah, you know, there was a big drive thruster in here before, the front one. So that's kind of what this housing was made for. But we got a, uh, a gravity generator up in here and then our, uh, our main warp drive. Yeah, very cool, very cool. I guess I'm out of God mode again here. I'm gonna, um, you know, oh, did that at the wrong time. Here, let's get above that. Let's go up to the bridge here a second. And then we, then we got our, our bridge. Looks like we got uh, locations for some uh, passenger seats. Not uh, we got a little table out the back here and a chair. Um, but yeah, a lot of room to add stuff or do whatever you want here with the bridge. Uh, you can certainly put in all kinds of stuff. And, and we got these side doors over here too. Great, great addition there to get you in and out of the bridge quickly. From outside, very kind of a kind of a very useful thing in gameplay, for sure. All right. Well, anyway, let's look at some numbers here. Uh, I'm gonna get out of God mode again. I'll adjust the lighting here. Um, so we are unlock level 20 only, huh? Not a 25. Interesting. Uh, size class four. I thought this was a five. It originally was a five, so it's a four now. So it actually, uh, uh, despite being like physically bigger, it actually is a little bit less size class than what it used to be. Um, so we're doing 64, 21 strafing, 51 lift, 28 reverse, 42 down. Uh, pretty balanced around the roll, y'all on pitch around uh, uh, 29 and uh, 22 on the pitch there. 14 fuel tanks, 15 oxygen tanks. It's got two uh, light Gatling turrets, uh, two sentry guns, retractable. And a long-range radar, six-hour and 31-minute build time. Uh, CPU-wise, oh, this is lower than I. You know, I didn't see a lot of uh, installed cores in here. I had seen some, so yeah, this is uh, less than I thought it would be, though. So 392, uh, or yeah, it's using 388 of that. So this is a core five only. Wow. So obviously, you can bring this up a whole lot more. You could really deck it out with quantum aux. Or, aux cores, more thrusters, bazillions of guns, um, shield parts, uh, you name it, all kinds of upgrade, uh, production constructors, deconstructors, a lot of places to add stuff there. Let's take a look at it, storage here. So we've got, uh, we got two ammo keys at 160. Okay, so they are labeled uh, correctly in here. Um, we got a main input at 640K and uh, fuel and O2 at 640. And blocks and devices, another 640. Uh, uh, loots, one and two, uh, 640 and 639. Um, and then ores, miscellaneous, another 630. I'll just call these 640s. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six 640s six in here, and then two 160K ammo bays. And then beyond that, I believe we're looking at a bunch of boxes and things like that. Uh, curious on its shield strength, stock at least. 16,245 on shield strength. Um, we do have, uh, still got that heavy lift mode. I wonder if that actually would work yet or not. I'm not sure. Let me see if we turn that off, if it actually turns off any thrusters or not. Uh, but that was the thing back in the day uh, because the thruster performance, especially in vanilla at that point in time in the game, they uh, it would almost be like too much thrust. Uh, in certain directions unless you put a load on it like you're carrying around a lot of cargo or something like that with you is almost too twitchy so it's put in like this uh, heavy lift mode and not to mention it would turn off thrusters and improve your fuel economy when it was off but then you could turn it on if you you know 
needed it. Um, and, and you might, you know, if you really load it up with a lot of uh, loot and stuff like that. Uh, materials and stuff docked on your creation and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, very cool there. Um, I think that's all of it. So again, this is the uh, RE2 Asteria Destroyer by Cheesy Wombam. Very, very cool. So the next creation here, uh, I got all these off until I get to them right now. I'm just trying to increase my performance a little bit in the game here. So let me turn on this guy over here. Now this is the one that I believe is for RE1. It is a tree cutter. This is the Fuel Maker 10K by Fuji. Uh, so, yeah, it's like a four harvester uh, 10K tree cutter, um, which is really cool. Really, really cool. These are practical early game. Um, well, even late game, anytime you need to get uh, trees or wood, uh, which you'll need for a lot of different things throughout the course of game. It's almost one of my, like, go-to things every time I... Uh, do some kind of playthrough in the game i always end up getting uh bringing in a little tree cutter early game here and usually keep it throughout the course of the entire game too so yeah very cool so this is just a higher capacity uh looks like it would cut trees uh, a little bit wider uh, tree cutting path going on here and uh yeah 10k of tree uh storage on it so it looks very practical looks very useful i'm curious on its specs here now keep in mind the CPU is going to be a little off because I'm showing an RE2 and it's not really set up for that. Um, it was uh, So it'll balance out just fine in RE1. So looking at the, the specs here, wow, this thing's a quick little son of a gun here. So 71 uh, forward, 71 strafing, 146 on its yaw. I just thought I'd throw that in there. That's a, that's a, that's a big, big number there. Uh, 71 reverse. And obviously it's an HV, so it doesn't go up and down. Uh, 109 on pitch, uh, roll. Yeah, it's it's very uh, agile. Um, of course, you know when you fill it up with 10k of uh, lumber, it's it's going to slow down. Um, it does have a detector on there as well, and uh, yeah, super awesome with its uh, resource costs. 23 minute and 27 second build time. Uh, yeah, it needs uh, 10 titanium and. 16 cobalt so you can get that pretty much on anything on a starter planet uh that's uh any kind of pui it doesn't even have to be like when you shoot up just some random junk lane on the ground you will easily be able to obtain these materials so yeah uh an unlock level seven on here four fuel tanks and two oxygen tanks too so it can really stay running for quite a long time it does have o2 in it which is great especially if you're on a hostile environment planet uh, and again, the CPU is going to be off, except showing it in RE2. I believe this probably should balance out in RE1. So, sorry about that. I, I just didn't want to do a whole separate session, honestly, to just, just show the, uh, this creation here. But yeah, it'll, it's up on the workshop. You can check out the, uh, the specs. Um, looks like a great tree, tree harvester. Looks like it would do exactly what you'd want it to do. Uh, very inexpensive as well. Um, and obviously, oh, oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button there. Let's hit this one. Um, and I would guess that the storage on here is 10k, <laughs> and it is, so, um, that makes sense. Even it has fridges, it has, uh, two fridges aboard, really? You got fridges? Wow. So you can do some, uh, uh, you don't have to just harvest trees with these things. They, you know, kind of, kind of mean sounded, but keep in mind, they're just digital little things in the game, but you can kind of harvest animals and, um, you know, talon forces and xerox forces with these two they these uh little che cheese graters up front do uh hack up stuff actually pretty well <laughs> so yeah again very very cool this is the uh fuel maker 10k by fuji all right so the next creation here this is the uh re2 level one no points dump by elk um so this is another one of those utility type of creations for gameplay it's uh the idea behind this i showed something like this uh a couple weeks ago too a little bit different version of this um, you can put this in your factory and this one it uh, sounds like you don't need to unlock anything uh, there was a change in the gameplay where you have to unlock like all the different kinds of parts and and things before you can put something in your factory in the game and this one it looks like you don't need to do nothing you just put it in your factory and it's designed as a resource dump to hold all these different materials here so iron and copper and silicon and you name it, um, all kinds of stuff in here. Even even uh, the fibers, uh, which is probably uh, how these grow pots are set up over here. 
Um, and so this, this is basically just made up a whole lot of parts that suck up resources. So when you're running around early game, especially and you, before you have a base and a bunch of places to put stuff, um, you can take all these, you know, the iron and the stuff you're collecting and just dump it in your factory. It's kind of like a virtual storage location. And you don't lose the stuff and it'll be used when you spawn something in, into the game. So it's a really, really good idea. In fact, I want to keep this around. This looks awesome for any kind of startup playthrough, um, especially in Reforge Eden here, 2 here. So, yeah, I, I'm a, yeah, definitely. Um, that's a good idea, really good idea on this. So, again, it's not built for looks or anything like that. It's just built to hold stuff. In, in this case, it's, it's also built to not need for you to unlock stuff in your skill tree. So, in other words, you don't have to level up before you can start using this and unlock a bunch of things, um, which is a really co good idea. Obviously, it can't hold everything, um, but, uh, you know, you'd have to unlock that. You could go to, like, a higher tier one at that point in time. Um, but, yeah, really, really cool idea. Awesome for, for gameplay. I mean, obviously, again, you don't spawn this in the game. Um, it's just something you keep virtually in your um, factory. So, and uh, total resource count on it. Um, basically, the higher you can get these numbers, the more you can store. You can't exceed this. So, if you try to put in 4,000 copper ingots, um, it, wouldn't, it would only let you put in... Well, that's not necessarily true either because if you, if, if you are under this number already and you put in like a big stack of them, it would accept those. It's a weird thing. So you can actually kind of get more in here than what it's actually saying. So yeah, really, really cool utility creation uh, over here. And this again is the RE2 level 1 no points dump by Alchemi. Very, very cool. All right, so next we've got a, a couple miners over here by different authors. Let me get these uh, fired up here, or this one to start with. Um, this one here is the RE2 Scrapmate Pro Salvage SV by Power Monkey. Nice looking miner. Nice looking miner. Um, love that uh, detailed industrial look. Cool color scheme for that. Looks like it's a pretty decent miner here, too. Uh, we're set up. Uh, so we got six of these uh, laser mining drills. Looks like we got a couple uh, guns mounted in there, uh, light uh, or laser uh, cannons uh, of the light origin. Oops, here, let me put that away. Hit buttons. Um, yeah, so we got a uh, looks like a harvest controller out back here. Probably a harvest controller. It's gonna need an ammo controller in here too for the uh, the guns. We got O2 on the back, Wi-Fi. Um, Detector up on top over there. Got our down thrust there. Yeah, really nice looking creation. I like the uh, the level of detail here. The the use of using these uh, type of like frame blocks and stuff with it. That that really kind of uh, puts uh, re really cool for that industrial look. It just yeah, it looks nice. Nice color scheme there too. Um, yeah, just fly on the inside. Oh, we got a shield in here too. Check that out. Shield and our generators. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this got, uh, yeah, shielded. It's got uh, some some manual fire weapons and a nice uh, turret there to protect you. And did I did I say these are laser drill miners? I, They're not. This is a, a, a scrap, right? Sorry about that. These are industrial multi-tools, so it's uh, all set up to scrap buildings. I uh, Every time I look at something, I don't just automatically call it a miner. That's, that's my fault. This is a salvager, obviously. <laughs> scrap <laughs> but yeah great great look at build here looks like it would uh, do the job nicely for sure we do have some spotlights up in there too let's take a look at all the numbers here so we'll unlock level 20 hmm. so i thought it might be actually 25 so 20 is cool uh pretty stout here on its uh, performance uh so 76 uh, forward 76 lift 76 reverse uh 30 strafing um 30, 36 down. Um, also, I was looking at the roll, yaw, and pitch, and they're all up there pretty good. Like, great, you know, uh, between 73 and 82. Um, so, yeah, real agile uh, creation. Obviously, when you fill it up with uh, cargo, it's going to slow down, and that's why you need extra thrust in the first place. Um, build time on here, uh, hour and two minutes. So, yeah, pretty... Uh, pretty light on its build time costs there too in fact it doesn't look terribly expensive 
Um, you do have the 500 of Estrum and Zacosium, but that ain't so bad. I considered, for, I, I guess these parts, I thought these parts were more expensive than what they are, so I was expecting the, this to be more expensive. Um, so I'm, I'm really pleasantly uh, uh, pleased to see it, that it's, it's pretty inexpensive creation here too, which is awesome. Um, it does have the detector on there. Let's take a look at its storage. So, let's see, what do we got? Uh, so we got an ammo box at, or ammo controller at 758, um, which is appropriate for this, so that's great. Uh, harvest controller, oh wow, just shy of 22,000. And we got our tax tank, even has a fridge on board here. Do we see that on back? No, that must be, um, sometimes they're sneaky. They, uh, you can tuck those fridges in pretty easily sometimes. Little place, I'm not seeing it, but it's it's there. It does have a fridge as well. It's probably right in plain sight, and I'm just, um, blind. But anyway, we, we know it's there, and, and we also seen that it had a shield. So, that's cool, too. So, shield strength for, uh, 4,085. Do have quite a number of P menu options. Spotlights, uh, here, let me... Uh, we got our turret, so you can pretty much turn on everything. I don't know what flares are. Uh, is that the blinky lights? No, those, I thought that was there already. Blinky lights are cool too, by the way. Um, I'm not sure what those are. Oh, it turned off again. Huh. I don't know what the flares are. I, I've seen something in RE2 about flares, but I haven't looked at it. So um, it's probably just something I'm unaware of right now. Another feature. There's a lot of new features. Try to trying to learn it all as I go here. But uh, yeah, again, very very cool build here. This again is the uh, RE2 Scrapmate Pro Salvage SV by Power Monkey. Very very cool. All right, so we got another one over here. Here, let me turn this guy off here a minute. Uh, and let's get you on. All right, so the next creation here, this is, uh, okay, so this one actually is a miner. The other one there is a salvager. So they are quite uh, quite a bit different on their, what they're doing. Although you could swap out parts, like you could put mining drills on that one and salvagers on this one, and it would still should be able to work the same. Um, so this is the RF2 starter miner by QTT space EST. So... Yeah, this is a cool looking miner too. Um, again, it almost like fits with the other one over there. Uh, very similar color scheme. This one does definitely has some uh, lighty, uh, lighty effects going on on it. Uh, so I wonder, I'll have to check the P menu, see if there's an option there to turn that on or off. Cool looking miner though. I love this design up here with the uh, this uh, thin block setup there. That's really unusual, but it's really cool looking. I and mean, uh, all the drill setup is... Uh, Nice and tight going on in there, too. So you got your uh, uh, viewpoint right in the center. You got a lot of spotlights here, so you can certainly see see where you're going. Um, cool looking landing gear set up on there as well. Looks like we got a uh, probably a harvest controller in the back. And uh, yeah, just a lot of uh, neat decorative stuff going on in here, too. This is a pretty interesting setup here with a, a thruster arrangement. So we've got, uh, yeah, it's using a lot of the little dinky thrusters on here. So I'm assuming that this one is true. Well, it did say it was a starter. It almost doesn't look like a starter, but, you know, by seeing, like, the littler thrusters and things on here and uh, no crazy CPU-intensive parts, um, besides maybe the mining drills, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it would be terribly expensive to get in the game at all. Um, yeah, what do we got in here? So, uh, yeah, a little over uh, 10, 10K of uh, harvest storage there, which is great. Uh, anyway, let's look at some numbers here. So, unlock level uh, 10, uh, size class 1, 28 forward, 12 strafing, 48 lift, uh, 28 reverse, and 24 um, down. And, uh, yeah, roll uh, 70, y'all, 46, uh, 45 on pitch. One fuel tank, one oxygen tank. Do have our eight uh, um, mechanical drills uh, detector on here. And, oh my goodness, is this cheap. Wow. Okay, I, it looks, I'm sorry, it looks way more expensive than what this is. So, yeah, uh, it does need 60 cobalt probably for the mining drills. Um, 
I do believe maybe a couple other parts on there but yeah very uh, light on uh, usage here and wow yeah really super cheap so yeah this uh, starter totally applies here unlock level 10 starter miner um, really cheap to get in, in game honestly just yeah a little bit of cobalt find that around starter planet and some uh, wreckage or something like that and you'll be all set here to get this going in game and start start uh, getting those resources flowing here and it has a good amount of um, uh, harvest storage as well on it so yeah very very cool miner here definitely like that um, let's look at some other options in here uh, CPU I didn't even check that out so this is a core uh, core one I do believe no additional CPU cores it even has some extra CPU left over there so you could uh, try to pop in something else um, that could fit in there yeah uh, here let me sort this real quick uh, yeah just just a core one just your basic core no no increased CPU on this one at all which is uh, definitely awesome again uh, no shield either of course but um, you know for its price and I, it looks like again it looks like it would just cost way more than it, it does it just especially with eight drills on it and the whole ball of wax just looks like that would be um, a lot pricier than it is so really really cool looking design there so again this is the re uh, i'm sorry i said re rf2 starter miner by qtt est very very cool build there all right so the next creation this one here let me turn this off a second and the next creation here uh i'll get this one on this is the BHZ Kingdom Galaxy RE2 by Drama Proof. So this is a pretty interesting looking CV here. Uh, kind of looks uh, like a definitely industrial style uh, creation here, but it does have some uh, some weaponry on here. But probably for uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't want to make that determination yet. But it kind of looks like it would be mostly defensive purpose uh, weaponry. Uh, shoot up all them drones and stuff. But yeah, a lot of uh. A lot of these uh, frame blocks in here too. That gives it that industrial look there. It's pretty interesting with the cargo box here. Got a sentry gun up top here. Really wild build here. Um, has basically like modules uh, uh, linked together with a frame system, but we got some bulk there in the middle of the creation as well. Got different uh, like thruster modules here. Uh, seeing generally pretty small thrusters on here too. So I'm. Well, no, 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 we got some bigger ones over here, don't we? That's pretty wild here with this whole frame. Interesting on the color scheme on here, too. We've got some, uh, some, a lot of texture lights, but they're kind of like on the inside of these other areas uh, to make it probably look uh, kind of glowy at night here. Well, I'll have to adjust the lighting here and take a look at that. So at the back here, wow, that's a wild looking... Oh, those are turbines. Oh, yeah, like a turbine section back over here. Interesting. And we got a main drive thrust in here, too. Yeah, that's a 3x3 three three one there. More turbines up top. They almost look like thrusters, though, from the uh, the backside. So that's, that's kind of cool. Kind of looks like you got a whole... But, but it does, the center section of thrusters. This is a wild uh, thin block design. Look at that pattern in there. Hold on. Let's... Uh, See what this looks like in the dark here. Wild. <laughs> yeah, it almost yeah, it almost looks like a drawing there or something. That that is that is uh really wild on how that's arranged there. But you just yeah, it's like the insides of all these uh like housings and things like that on the inside of the uh, creation. And then we got like some white side texture lights there. Really, really unique looking uh, build here. Uh, very artistic. Let's see what do we what do we got? Well, uh, let's look at yeah the top here. So we got a landing pad and obviously a way in right there. Uh, looks like another location that you can enter in down over there. Man, there's stuff all over the place here. Got a warp drive in here and no, I think that's just a warp drive mounting. I'm seeing a CPU block uh, core uh, down in here. Uh, wow, this is, this is wild what's going on in here. What's this? Oh, wow, 
That's a constr these are yeah, that's a man's constructor and a small constructor out here. Got a generator in that location. Wow. Very unique design on this one. Um, kind of like it's all like these modules attached together with framework. Um, and it's like this big, uh, I don't know. And a lot of stuff on the outside here, too. Check this out. We got a, that's a, oh, no, there's glass there. So we got a fridge over there. This is like a room down in there. Really interesting. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to come in from here and let's go take a tour on the inside here. Uh, not sure what I'm in for here. This is this is really unique again. So I'm seeing some CPU cores right over here. And okay, so this just goes this direction. And oh, I've got a, like a crew crew area over here, a bunk bed, a fridge, a food processor, place to sit. Um, we've got a full medical bay over here. Oh yeah, we got armor locker, armor repair. Uh, got a teleporter over here, and then uh, yeah, our uh, shower and toilet. And then uh, let's see, and then we're up to the bridge here. So we got some passenger seats, our pilot seats, uh, O2. Uh, yeah, four four passenger seats in here. Oh, and a quick way in and out of the bridge as well, right at the top of the elevator. Very convenient. And this looks like it's kind of an isolated part of the ship. Um, or maybe this is the only interior space of the ship. Hold on. Um, but, yeah, it's just a, it's a different design. And obviously, there's some stuff on the outside. Like, you can um, probably tool around in space and access some of the constructors and things like that out here. Well, or just use the P menu like a normal person. But if you want to make it difficult for yourself, uh, do it do it the way I suggested. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we got a couple RCS back over here as well. Um, yeah, really, really unique build here. I don't think I've seen anything really quite like this before. And then you got, of course, you got your landing pad right on the top there. And, oh, yeah. And then also, too, keep in mind... Um, it's running some pretty big old turbines back over here too, which is um, each one of these counts as, if I remember correctly, um, a lot of solar panels. I don't want to quote exactly. I think it was like I don't know. I think it was at like 12, and then it might have went to like 16 large solar panels per one of these large turbines. Um, so that basically, it's getting a lot of uh, free power basically when you're flying it around. It's still going to need you know generators and regular stuff when you're moving around but when you're parked and just doing ship functions you I'm sure it could easily operate on just turbines alone and also reduce your or uh, uh, increase your fuel economy when you're just using the ship flying around normally so yeah very very cool um, all right so let's look at some numbers here so unlock level 25 size class 4 uh, 151 forward 44 strafing 104 lift 56 reverse 31 down, 8 fuel tanks, 8 oxygen tanks. Uh, got uh, quite a few, uh, basically a, a nice uh, drone defense set up here. We do have a multi-turret on here as well for salvaging. Um, and of course, you can, if you blow, it's a weird thing with the game too, if you didn't know this already. If you were to zap this with a multi-tool in game, you'll get all the resources back so you can place it again. If you change the option, you could place it as a drill turret. Um, so you could kind of flop in between a multi-turret for salvaging and a drill turret um, on this at the same cost, or they were in the past, uh, unless something changed. Um, seven hour and 39 minute build time. Uh, does require four quantum processors, so I think this is a Core 9 for RE2. Let me sort this out. Yeah, okay, Core 9. So yeah, we're using our uh, superior cores in this build. And that's, uh, that's basically a flag. Each uh, superior core takes two of the uh, those quantum processors. Um, usually know a core nine build by seeing that right off the gates here. Start, you know, the more, more you look at it in RE2, the more you get used to it. A lot of P menu options in here. And we also got a stock shield in here at 25,180. Um, just a lot of different stuff. We got a rich turret. Oh, interesting. Ice turrets. Yeah, this thing's really set up for... Um, doing like all your mining and salvaging needs out in space 
uh, multi turrets, aux standby, deconstructors, EMP. Huh. Hold on. EMP. Kind of like set up for future weapons and uh, upgraded parts um, in the P menu. So I'm, I'm sure the author probably stripped this down so it was compliant with uh, Core 9 RE2 specification. Um, but it's probably kind of meant to do some more things too. I had a lot of P menu options and uh, whatnot. Uh, one thing I forgot to look at here too, I wanted to check out its warping capabilities here. We did have a warp drive in it. I just want to see what type that was. Advanced warp drive. So it does have the 60 light year warp drive in here. All right. Ah, very cool. Storage. What do you got for storage? Uh oh. All right. No, it's right here. Yeah, Galaxy. Okay. Uh, so we got a cargo, uh, cargo one through four. It looks like, and all of these appear to be 640k bays. We got a harvest one and two, and they're going to be 320s. That's your max limit for those. And then an ammo controller also at 320. Um, I think a lot of these other ones are boxes. Yeah. So yeah, nicely uh, sorted and labeled and everything in the uh, in the uh, storage menu as well. So yeah, again, very very cool build here. A really unique uh, industrial miner salvager does all kinds of stuff. Uh, talks about dense mining and you name it um so and yeah a lot of power assist with those turbines on here as well so again this is the bhz kingdom galaxy re2 by drama proof very cool build there and uh the last creation i wanted to look at today this one is uh here let me turn you off again I know I can just hit Y when looking at these creations to do it, but usually when they're sitting on this platform, it turns the platform on and off and not the creation. Or I had that happen a lot, so that's why I've been manually getting the P menu and doing it that way. Let me turn this one on here. So this one's a little bit different. This is, again, um, a POI for the game. So this isn't like a player base. At least this version of it isn't. So this is the BOA Far Northern Star by Seleustacor. Um So FAR, uh, I believe it's a, a, like the Brotherhood of FAR, is the faction in, uh, at least in the Reforged, uh, or the, uh, the, yeah, the Reforged Eden variants of the game. I'm not sure if that's in the vanilla game or not. It, it could be. Very well could be. But yeah, this is a really cool, wild-looking uh, POI here. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely cool architecture going on here. Look at that giant ring here on the front or going right through it a yeah, really cool block work and angles all around here I like the color scheme here too kind of it kind of fits with those miners down in there i go or well miner and salvage are down over there and we got some solar panels out on the sides here um does oh it does have some defenses out here too so some turrets way the heck out over here this is a uh, pretty big Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this uh, kind of engraving kind of uh, block work over here. I don't know what else you call that, but that, that looks really cool. Yeah, you know, that uh, fine detail kind of uh, fancy, fancy stuff you see on picture frames and all kinds of things. Yeah, that is very, very cool. Oh, I do have some different rooms in here. Cool looking glass windows there. Yeah, I like the color scheme on this a lot, too. Um, it's got uh, texture lights and neat places, especially going around this big, big ring area here. And then the thing gets pretty deep, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. More of that. And I don't know what to call this, but I will just call it engraving block work. That's like a new term. Just made it up. Uh, don't see this. You just don't see stuff like this very much. I have seen it before, but not too often. Cool looking tank there on the side. It's way at the bottom here. Looks like just a big old antenna set up there. Yeah, really stylish. I like these uh, these uh, roundest uh, support beams down in here too. Kind of like tying the whole uh, structure together. And up on top over here, it looks like we've got a, uh, a glowy ball. 
No, that's that's cool too. That, that all this stuff looks really really good, especially in space. You know where it's so much darker and stuff like that. This will kind of illuminate a lot where 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 it wants you to see the illumination. Let's see what's going on in here. I do like this too. That's uh, yeah, I've seen that. It's not the first time I've seen that now. I was pretty uh, puzzled the first time I seen it, but I got a description on that finally. So that's just uh, another part. That's really really cool here. So um, I'm wondering here. I'm not lower the lighting down here see what we look like kind of like it would be in space oh that's cool look at this that's neat that's neat again yeah it looks like it's a standalone ship just sitting there but it's part of the build you know it's all it's all one build this isn't a separate creation it's a base <laughs> but uh yeah no it's made to look like a spaceship um, and that is really cool, even like with its thruster set up over there, just as a, I don't know, again, this is a POI, I don't want to give away too much about it, um, I don't know if it's, ho well, it's, it'd be hostile to you if you were hostile to this faction, um, but if you weren't hostile to this faction, it'd probably be a friendly base. And we got some craziness going back in there too, oh yeah, we do got some guns in there, look at all the, uh. Toxic chemical tanks back over there. Looks like these guys are uh, doing some some nefarious things over there. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna fly back here anyway. So we got some loot boxes. We got something to shoot you. Got a little bit of security. Lots and lots of uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a virus or what's going on in here. Kind of scary though. Uh, let's see what's uh, let's see what's happening on the other side over here. So we got a repair bay. Oh, wow. So it kind of looks like this would be, like, if you're cool with them, um, this would be, like, a utility uh, uh, POI and not so much a combat POI. However, if you did try to raid it and you weren't friendly with them, it's got a little bit of defense. Not a whole heck of a lot, but uh, at least at least in this main floor area here. Let's so, uh, get into this back room here, too. So, oh, yeah. So we got a uh, shopkeeper. That's a cool looking artistic uh, block configuration there. I don't even know what to call that. It looks cool though. That's wild looking. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Salusticor is, qu is quite the artist. Uh, I've seen, I've been looking at his work for a long time now. And uh, yeah, all kinds of uh, really, really wild ideas. Even just like this. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like that. I have seen signs and letters kind of made with thin blocks like this on a couple things in the past but yeah it's just like a decorative neat looking formation of creativity there <laughs> so that, that's just cool that's just cool all right so we got these big elevators here so they go away uh oh yeah actually it doesn't go too far up now oh yeah, or yeah it does wow what's what, what oh look at this the sneaky security office oh yeah this is where they're uh Getting ready to de de deploy their uh, galaxy-wide virus, I think. Uh, I, I don't know what these guys are up to, but yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of shooty guys over in this area. So, yeah, if you break into these little sneaky places in here, they're gonna really uh, try to shoot you up. <laughs> uh, all right, so I think this goes. Oh, I did go down. Oh wow. So oh, yeah, check out the medical bay area here. This got quite the uh, extensive medical uh, wing. Yeah, this uh, looks like a hospital in here. That's cool. Yeah, it does actually have uh, legitimate fixing healing things. And, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm uh, you know, seeing the doctor, uh, I always feel safer knowing there's a big old sentry gun in front of me. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> oh, no, that, uh, that's, uh, that's fun. It's fun. Okay, so we got that elevator. I think I just came down on that one. Um this would probably take us back up. So, I think that's it on the interior space. Now we're up to our main uh, floor here. So, I don't think you actually go down in these lower areas unless... I don't know. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, look at this. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. There's, there's crazy... I, I just got to... I got to find my way from here. Wow, there's... Okay, there's all kinds of stuff. Wow, okay, this thing has a lot of... A lot of places to go in it 
Um, and I must have missed uh, one of the major elevator ramps here. So, all right, all right. There's a lot to explore in here. Um, I thought it was going to be pretty straightforward and, you know, like you just have a little bit of a usable area here. But, no, there's uh, this thing does it all here. It's got like a full run POI shooter going on in here, too. So, yeah, really, really cool uh, artistic build there. Um, definitely, definitely like it. And I, I believe, yeah, I got, you know, obviously it's uh, all faction colored up here for the, I believe it was a Brotherhood of Far. If I got that wrong, please correct me. Um, but I think that is the name of the faction. So again, very, very cool. This isn't one that I'm going to look at the stats on because it's a, it's not, it's not for the players. You're not going to be spawning this in game. So it's not, it's not one of those things. But uh, yeah, very, very cool. Um, and that is all the creations for this week right now. Um, now, after this, I'm going to be doing another video on my SVI building for this month's challenge as well. I did complete it fully, and I'll show you how it came out um, in just a bit here when I get another video going. But other than that, you all have yourself a great weekend and also work on this stuff, again, by all the authors and everybody that uh, keeps on making this game be what it is, which is kind of a, just a unique uh, thing out there in the uh, gaming world. Uh I'll still say the best builder out there, but, uh, you know, I'm sure some other people would probably yell at me for that one. But anyway, y'all have yourself a great weekend. I'll talk to you later.